Today's video is exciting for a couple of reasons here. One is because it has to do with Japan, and I love Japan, and it's raining. And the second reason that it's exciting is because it involves food. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me but I love food. I was contacted by the company Wowbox to open and review their box on my channel. As always, I told them my bottom line here for doing reviews on my channel is that I give 100% honest reviews and they said, yeah, please give us 100% honest feedback. So I got the Wow Box. I'm so, so excited. This is basically a Japanese candy slash snacks, I guess, food subscription box and you can get it once a month. You can pick out three different Size. That was three, right? Yes. You can pick out three different size boxes. So they've got a small, medium, and large. Those are obviously all going to cost different amounts. You're obviously going to get a different amount of product. The medium and large box, I believe they said, will include a like one of those DIY candy kits or whatever. And then also, if you get the large box, they also include like figurines sometimes. In one of the boxes, it'll be like makeup type items, that sort of a thing. So it's going to be different depending on the size of box you order and then also the type of box you order because they also have three different types of boxes you can choose from so it'll be like different themes so they've got the original fun and tasty which seems to be the kind of most all-inclusive I guess so it'll include like the traditional fun weird tasty treats that Japan is known for and also some anime related themed things They've also got the kawaii and beauty, which this one is an offering of tasty low calorie treats and beauty enhancing snacks and candies with kawaii characters. And every now and then they say they'll throw in a makeup product. And they've also got the classic. So these are all of like the top sellers in Japan for decades and that sort of a thing. So you can see here, I just picked the original fun and tasty box just for an example, but the small box is $14.99, medium is $24.99, and the large is $34.99. And then you can also see the different number of items that'll be included depending on what size, and then also the different things that may or may not come with your box. And they also ship to over 70 countries, so they've got it all listed here if you are curious and want to know if your country qualifies for their shipping. One thing I also love is that you can also check out their past boxes so you can see the type of stuff that they have sent out in the past. So if you're not sure which theme to get and then also if you're not sure should you get the large box, should you get the medium box, or should you get the small box, it'll show you what was included in each of them. I was so excited to break out into this. I am ready for a snack. Well, multiple snacks and I'm excited to try all these things with you. I actually don't remember which box I asked for. I asked for either the original Fun and Tasty or the Kawaii and Beauty. I ordered this a long time ago and then there was like a shipping delay for PR boxes or something but as you can see it's not like a box within a box it's just the one box and then all your goodies are inside. They've got you know the little squishy bags that pop but here was the pamphlet that was inside okay I did I ordered the kawaii and beauty which for anyone who doesn't know kawaii in Japanese means cute and spoiler alert it's got everything listed on the inside here because I'm assuming I'm probably not going to be able to read all of the kanji and everything that's on here. So this was the May of 2016 box, but they also include all of the nutritional facts and also the ingredients. So if you do have allergies or whatever, it's great that they have everything listed in English. And I'm sure if you obviously order to a different country, you know, that they ship to, I don't know if Spain was one of them, I'm just using it as an example, but you know, then everything will probably be in Spanish. I can't guarantee that but I would assume so. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this one first. So first off, we've got the Calbi Vegipusu. I think it's, yeah, Vegips. So a combination of veggies and chips. Oh, I'm excited. So they've got Kabocha, which is pumpkin. They've got Jagaimo, which is potato. And then also something Negi which is onion. Like I said, I can't read like the big characters, so. It's got a little rippy on the side here. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, these smell like, um, oh my gosh, these smell like onion rings. Okay, so we've got a little, little chip here. Oh my God. 
Mm-hmm. Tastes like sour cream and onion funyuns. Ooh, this must be the kabocha. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So that one was a little sweeter. Just trying to see if I can find one of everything, but oh. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Somehow I needed to stop. I could eat that whole bag right now, no problem. So, moving on. We've got this thing. Oh, and because I know some of you are gonna ask, Cassie, I thought you were on a plant-based vegan diet, blah, blah, blah. No, I try my best to eat a plant-based diet. I am not a vegan, at least not yet. I don't know what my future holds, but I'm obviously putting my plant-based ideals aside for this video, so just so you know. I have no idea. <laughs> what this one is gonna be. It says Ko Mei Chang. Is that someone's name? Ko Mei? Isn't this the character for Kyo for today? Kyo Dake no. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what this is. So this is something, something, something powder. So there's some sort of a powder inside. <laughs> I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. I don't want to like spoil what the rest of the stuff is here. These ume flavored candies, which Ume is plum, right? Boast a hard exterior, but in the center is a sweet and salty powder that will tackle your taste buds. Okay, I'm gonna save this for last then, since it's a hard candy. What is this? This is so cute! Saku Saku Panda! I've heard of this before. Kuremu Burure? Is that supposed to be creme brulee? Uh huh. Golden. It's a golden package? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, cute! So it says Arigato 20th, so I'm assuming, yes, 20th anniversary for this brand. I'm just so excited. I feel bad having to break the panda, but okay. As far as I can tell, this is gonna be creme brulee flavored. I love that it's got the resealable zipper here, so I can reseal. Oh my gosh, these are so cute! Oh, they smell so good! Look at these little pandas! Got a little sticky outy tongue. So it looks like some sort of like a cracker and then this is like melting. I'm wondering if that's like white chocolate type of a thing. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Can I have one more? <laughs> oh cute, they've all got different little faces. Good thing I'm being a glutton and having one more. So cute and these are so good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, so good. Yeah, and it does say on the back here, Omote wa choco, ura wa biscuito. So on one side it's gonna be chocolate and the other side it's a biscuit or a cookie, whatever. Oh, so good. So good. And I'm pretty sure just like every other type of food subscription box or like any kind of subscription box, if you really, really like something, you can order that food from them on their website. So that's great. Oh my gosh, those are so good. I have a huge sweet tooth. <laughs> There's so much in here. So next up, we have got a Soy Joy Crispy Mikusu Berry. So it's mixed berry. Judging by the picture here, it looks like it's gonna be some kind of a fruit bar. Hi, honey. You don't get any. Yeah, none for kitties. You can smell it, though. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, honey. That's not for kitties. This Okay, so it looks like it's like a hard but kind of chewy rectangular thing. Mmm. 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 Yum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hate that I'm like opening all of these and then just closing them back up, but that one, it kind of tastes like a Fig Newton. Like this is the type of thing that's good to have in your bag. So if you're out all day, just munch on this as a snack. Oh, yum. Next up, I see a little puppy here. I don't know guys, I don't know what this character is. Kaoi, so some sort of a gummy. Grepu and orangey, so we've got grape and orange. Look at this little tab. Peel it. Ah, oh, I love good packaging. I don't care if it's with cosmetics. I don't care if it's with food. That's just a beautiful thing. So basically, from what I'm gonna guess, these are little dog paw gummies. Ooh, it looks like they're coated in sugar. So there's an orange one. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like a fruity. Oh, I'm sad. There was apparently a kitty one that got sent out too. You can see there. The orange one tasted good. I don't really like grape flavored candy, but yeah, that's actually a nicer grape than a lot of things. That's kind of more of a Concord grape type of a thing, but you know, they're gummies. Nothing crazy special or anything. Next up, I'm gonna go with this. What do we got here? Doki Doki Puchito. Doki Doki is like the sound of your heart beating. I don't know what Puchito. Mecha Supai no ga haiteru, which is like super sour things are inside. I'm thinking this is something sour. I don't really know anything other than sour so far. But again, I love this. It's got a zipper. Ooh. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like lemon sorbet or something. Like a lemon cookie. They show it that you can peel it. It feels like a gummy. So is this another gummy sort of a thing? Uh. So what, are you just supposed to eat like one little thing at a time? Is that... I don't know, it's not like super sour, maybe if you're like five. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's just like a sugary, lemony, it is sour. Not as sour as these little animals made it seem, but maybe they weren't meant to handle sour things like humans were. Next up here, I'm gonna go for this box UK. This is Chocoretto by Meiji Aporo. I'm assuming it's strawberry chocolate because it's got strawberries all over it, but nothing on here says Ichigo, at least not that I can see so far. Oh, yum. It smells really good. Mmm, yep, it smells like chocolate strawberry. Look at this little guy on the back. He's so cute. Okay, so cracking on into this. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they smell so good. There you go. And they just look like these little chocolate caps. Oh my gosh, there's another little cutie pie here. Look at it. Get him. So cute. So you can see this is what the little little chocolates look like. Mmm. Yep. Mmm. Tastes like a artificially strawberry chocolate. Oh, so delicious. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Next up here, we've got some sort of a love pop type thing. They look like little chocolate pops and it says, Dochi o erabu, which means, which one are you gonna choose? I don't know, which one do I choose? Oh, they're so cute. It smells like chocolate. I feel bad. I don't want to eat the whole thing right now. Get a look at her. I'm picking little the princess here. So cute. Okay. Ate her pigtail. I figured it would be the least painful for both of us. Tastes like chocolate. Put her little dismembered body back in there, but you taste good, little girl. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna. We're gonna stop talking because it's not turning into the sentences that I'm wanting it to turn into, so. Next. So this is, must be one of the DIY type things. Gnocchi gnocchi. Poo. Poo? I don't know how to read this. Is this a tsu or is it a poo? Fluffa cream. So it's got a fluffy cream inside. Karafuru powder and then a colorful powder on the outside um melon aji grape aji and orange aji so it's got melon and grape and orange i think this just makes like little fruit flavored gnocchi is that what the gnocchi gnocchi stands for i'm not quite sure on this one but can you hear that 
yikes. So, I don't know if you guys would want a video on this. I mean, it's not like I'm making something fun like hamburgers or anything, but if you want me to, I can definitely make a video. I'm gonna go with this guy. Oh, it's so squishy. So here's a tiny little Hello Kitty thing. See, squish, squish, squish. It says Choco on the back there, and then Choco Marshmallow. Cool, so it's a chocolate marshmallow. Choco cream. So there's a chocolate cream on the inside of the marshmallow. I mean, this is just gonna be a one-time eat thing, I guess. I mean, I could like bite it in half and then put the other half back in, but like, come on now. Oh, it's so soft. This is one of those things where you just wanna, you wanna play with your food. It's so squishy. I haven't had a marshmallow in so long. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it tastes like you're eating hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This gets a big thumbs up yummy. Mm. It was like the perfect ratio of chocolate to marshmallow. Mm. That was really good. And we're getting to the last of it here, guys. Grab these last three things here. Pikachu! Poketo Monster! Pocket Monster, Pikachu, what else did it say? Gamu, okay, so this is gum. I'm not gonna try this now because I obviously have other things to eat. Oh, and it's grape flavored, which again, grape is not my favorite, but I love Pikachu, I love Pokemon. I'll probably give the gum to someone else. Someone else can eat the gum and I'll just keep the cute Pikachu wrapper. <gasps> this is such a cute little package, but you can read in the English there, it's donut biscuit or Donuts biscotto. I'm assuming cookies that are shaped like donuts, possibly flavored like donuts, but oh, that package though, it's so cute. I don't want to damage the adorable artwork. Don't you dare damage it. Stop it. Okay. Ooh, smells like sugary sweetness. Yum. Just gonna go ahead here. Yeah, it looks like a sugar covered little cookie. Mmm. 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 Yum. Oh, it reminds me of something. Can't put my finger on it. Oh, it tastes like shortbread. My mom really loves these shortbreads. They've got like chess on them. So I'm thinking it's got like the horse from a chess game on it. Mmm, really good. Mmm, yum, yum. I could eat that whole thing. And then last, this is a morning meal. Lemon yogurt. Oh, okay, so this is a lemon yogurt. I can't eat all this. No. Do I though? Do I dare? I mean, it looks like you can screw the cap back on, so let's just go ahead and do it. But there you go. So lemon yogurt. Twist that off. I hated gogurt as a kid. I don't know. Something about sucking up yogurt through a thing just like... Oh, that smells good though. Like, what's the one from Yo Play that I used to always get when I ate dairy? There's a lemon one. I don't know if it's like lemon pie or what, but... Mm. Yeah, that's exactly why I don't like these. The texture is so weird because there's like liquid and then like a clump of yogurt. Mmm. It tastes really good though. Like the perfect mix of tart and sweet. Mmm. And then I guess, do you want me to try one of these? Oh nice, they're all individually wrapped. It's got the little, it's like a, mm, not necessarily a geisha. Either way, a girl in a kimono. I've never had ume before. I've always like wanted to try it, umeboshi, and um, yeah, but. Mmm. That legit tastes like a plum. Oh, this is sour. Am I supposed to sit here and wait until it gets to the middle for you guys? Okay, so I'm sorry. I know the lighting is really starting to go. It's starting to thunder and everything outside, but yeah, eh. 
it tastes the same all the way through. I'm gonna go. Thank you so much once again to Wowbox for sending this my way. It was so much fun to try out all these treats and I'm excited to eat them all in their entirety off screen here. Not in one sitting, but you know. You know. If you personally want to get your own WOW box and try out some Japanese treats, they did provide me with a 10% off discount code, which is so kind of them. So thank you WOW box for doing that. I'll have all the info listed down below, but that code is good through the 31st of July, 2016. And yeah, I just hope that you guys all enjoyed hanging out with me here and watching me try some Japanese snacks. I really had a lot of fun. As always, if you did enjoy it or found it helpful, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it and as always I just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye